Hello. Good morning. It's you I like. It's not the things you wear. It's not the way you do your hair, but it's you I like. The way you are right now, right down deep inside you. Not the things that hide you, not your toys. They're just beside you, but it's you I like. Every part of you, your skin, your eyes, your feelings, whether old or new. I hope that you remember, even when you're feeling blue, that it's you I like, it's you yourself, it's you, it's you I like. Maybe some of you remember that little song from Mr. Rogers, and uh, I'm living pretty close to Mr. Rogers' neighborhood these days, and I uh, think of him a lot. He uh, really had an amazing and wonderful ministry with so many people through television. Um, and that message, you know, he would look into the camera and say, I like you just the way you are, right? Um, and, and just uh, had that spirit of hospitality, of welcoming people. Um, into his his little living room in his neighborhood of make believe, um, and though you know he was aiming specifically at children, um, I didn't get that message just from him. I also got it from a, a church group that I was part of um, every summer um, before breakfast. Um, those who were gathered waiting for the dining room to open would be. Um, led in some devotions in motion and one of the first ones we would do is find a partner and it could be anybody It could be a grown-up. It could be a man a woman children um, All different kinds of partners find a partner and look into their eyes and one at a time say to the other one I like you just the way you are exactly and precisely. I think you turned out nicely and then you take time to listen to the other one say it to you and um, Getting that message really uh, makes a huge, huge difference. Brene Brown talks about the difference of having to fit in and just simply belonging. And being loved just as you are is the belonging, and that's what God is offering us. That's really what grace is all about, this free gift of belonging, being loved, beloved of God, um, not for doing anything, not because um, we're wearing the the most wonderful fashions or because we've made it in society or we got good grades or we've been um, keeping the Ten Commandments but just being loved for who we are and what's really hard is when we're raised in a culture of wrath where we're having to kiss up and earn what we get and we get told that from from such a young age um, we put up defenses and then when we hear that we're loved just as we are it can be hard to open up enough and be vulnerable enough to let that really sink in to really accept that we're accepted um, and that is a process the um, you know, Christians have called justification it's not a process of having to do anything it's just receiving what's already there um, opening up to God's grace and um, but it can be a real process to switch over from, um, you know, thinking we deserve or don't deserve things to, to accepting that grace. Um, this Wednesday, when I have the um, Safe Harbors midweek worship, we're going to focus on accepting God's grace. And we're going to read the story of Jacob wrestling um, because he had done such horrible things to his brother, to his family, and he'd run away from home and was away for a long time. And finally, he was being called to return. And he was scared to meet his brother. He had done his brother wrong. His brother was um, about ready to kill him when Jacob ran away. And he really had to wrestle, wrestle hard and, and not let go until he knew that God was blessing him. And you know, again, not because he did anything right or, or because he earned it or deserved it, but just simply because God loved him. And, um, and then, wow, how wonderful to to meet Esau and discover that Esau was ready to forgive him and um, they could be reunited. Um, 
So if you can join us for the Safe Harbors um, midweek worship at 9.30 on Wednesday, um, you can find a, a registration form on the link below. Um, that would be wonderful to see you um, live. Otherwise, I'll be, oops, there's my cuckoo clock. <laughs> I forget to turn it off. Um, otherwise, I'll be posting um, these services on my YouTube channel. Um, I'm still working on cleaning up the one from last week. Um, so I hope uh, you have a most lovely day and that um, you can find somebody to look in the eye today. And even if, if you have to look in the mirror and look yourself in the eye and say, I like you just the way you are, exactly and precisely. I think you turned out nicely and really mean it and really accept it. Have a good day.